Hello, I'm your host, Amber Lynn Carroll. Thank you for joining us on MedWatch Today. When Lorna Kirby Lopez was diagnosed with dystonia, she was having pain throughout her body and couldn't control the movements of her arms and legs. Today, she's regaining control of her life thanks to the state-of-the-art technology, treatment, and therapy she received at CUNY Regional. I knew something was really bad, but I didn't think I was going to die from it. Lorna Kirby Lopez started experiencing extreme digestive issues over 20 years ago and soon developed tremors in her hands. I was diagnosed at one point with Parkinson's, Parkinsonians, and different um, forms of MS. But when the tremors became so severe that she was having trouble breathing, Lorna went to Community Regional. There, neurosurgeon Dr. Mark Krell, who knew Lorna's symptoms and pain, were caused by something other than Parkinson's. Patients are unable to get out of bed. They're unable to feed themselves. They're unable to toilet. In, in Lorna's case, unable to breathe. Lorna was diagnosed with dystonia, a movement disorder that starts in the brain and causes muscles to contract involuntarily throughout the body. Dr. Krell could see that Lorna's disorder was progressing fast. And that if we didn't do it, she would eventually progress to the point where she couldn't survive. Lorna had to undergo emergency deep brain stimulation, or DBS. There are very few uh, emergent indications for DBS, meaning uh, that most reasons to do DBS are elective. Uh, it's done to improve somebody's quality of life. With DBS, Dr. Krell implants electrodes within certain areas of the brain to help control the involuntary movements of muscles. In somebody that has these disorders that limit movement, these people get deconditioned. And so it's difficult for them to return to normal function right away. Once Lorna underwent surgery, Dr. Carell says she needed to be surrounded by a trained rehabilitation therapy team to help her regain strength and relearn everyday functions. Neuro can come during our sessions and, and actually see live how the stimulator is working because they're able to do it during her treatment. Alex Bain is Lorna's physical therapist at Community Regional's Leon S. Peters Rehabilitation Center in downtown Fresno. The idea of the rehab is that they have stretching exercises every day for lengthening those muscles that have been contracted, uh, strengthening exercises so they can move around better, and most importantly, they have physical therapy and occupational therapy there on site. And so every day was just kind of inching into you know, can you, t can you tolerate sitting in a chair? Okay, we got her up in a chair for an hour. Um, I know occupational therapy and, and speech therapy are working a lot with her ability to use the spoons and feeding herself, and she got to where she could feed herself lunch. Her speech started improving, her breathing started improving. Thanks to state-of-the-art technology and specialized treatment for recovery, Lorna is slowly regaining her strength and independence again. From the minute I entered the community hospital system, been so blessed with caretakers. She had excellent control of her dystonia after the DBS. Uh, the, the diaphragm is working fine now. She's up and out of bed. She's moving around. She's taking care of herself. And Lorna says her faith, family, and care team have all helped her get through this difficult time in her life. I want to tell them thank you so much. I mean, they've been so good to me. 